Well, it's a pretty boring day today out. It's like 80 something degrees in August, a little bit muggy out. So, uh, since I got nothing to do today, I'm gonna dig out the 982 and see what's wrong with it. And there it is, the wonderful 982. Now, if you know anything about the Cubs, uh, you know that these things are not rare, but they're kind of uncommon. You don't really see very many yellow and white 982s. They're normally all the uh, red international, I guess, branded ones. This is a yellow and white one. It's an 84 model. I haven't really done a video on it, but uh, I actually kind of stole it from the guy. I got it for like 600 bucks. He didn't know what he had. It has the mower deck, which is sitting over there. Uh, just needed a little bit of tinkering to get it started back up, and it was running fine. I went to, went to plow day with it, did some tuning, had to get a new carburetor on it. Uh, put some big chunky tires on the back of it. Still need some V61s on the front, but overall, it's a pretty straight tractor. Paints, it's all right. I buffed it, and it's, it's not too bad. It does have the original dealer decal on it. There it is for anybody that wants it. And it has the original dealer keychain that goes with it. So, and it was sold in the same area with the dealers at, which is kind of nice. It was original owner or original owner's son, I guess. But it's it's a really nice old tractor. I, I really like it. First 82 series cub I've ever had. Um, I did break one of the uh, brake pads right there. Not brake pad, but yeah, it kind of broke. And uh, I need a pin for that. But see if we can start up, back it out of here. Now these things do sound really good because of the dual mufflers, which I, I really liked about it because it had dual mufflers. But it's having some issues now, some fork issues, so we'll see if we can get her to crank up for us. Right there. That's what I want to fix. After messing with it a little bit, I've come to narrow it down to it's it's something with the spark plug wires. I'm thinking to take a screwdriver and I'd wiggle it a little bit or move it some way and it would start to run a little bit different. So I'm gonna guess I'm gonna need new spark plug wires because it has brand new plugs in it. Carburetor's new. One thing I really need to do is pull out the manifold and reseal it and uh or intake gasket, I guess you could say I messed that up a little bit. But that's all I really have to do to it. Um, I probably pull the engine out, put new head gaskets on it, clean it off and everything. But I got a plow day coming up the 26th, August 26th. And this and the 430 is really the only plow tractors I have right now because the 312 is gone. And I don't really want to use the 520 for plowing anymore. It's just going to be a straight show tractor, even though it's not that pretty. But this is, I really want this to be my main plow tractor. So I got to get it back in like tip top shape for it to be doing that so that's pretty sure that's all what's wrong with it but yeah this is probably the first time it's seen sun in two three months since last plot day i haven't really had it out because i just i just don't use it for anything don't even use it for i don't use any of these old tractors anymore because we mowed the simplicity sometimes i'll pull lawn sweep with the 520 that's what this thing's job was but i just never really pulled the lawn sweep anymore but this is uh yeah, there's not much to this tractor. It's pretty straightforward. It's not like the other supers where you have the dual hydraulic, well, dual hydraulic ports on it. It doesn't have any front hydraulic ports. It has a spot form, but it doesn't really, doesn't have them, obviously. It does have the dual brakes. Gonna order some new guards or whatever you call those, mud fucking, I don't know. Footsteps, they're called footsteps. Don't, don't quote me on that. But I do quite like this tractor. Even though it's a gas super, which I know aren't as desirable, but it is a 982 that's yellow and white, which I guess are pretty desirable. It also is for sale. Once I get this spark plug issue fixed or whatever it is, it'll run perfect. But it is for sale. I'm, I'm one to get like around 3,000 for it just because it has the new back tires for fluid in them and the three point 60 inch deck down there. And it's also a yellow and white 982. It's only got 
1,153 uh, hours on it. And uh, original owner, I bought it off of. It's just a really straight tractor. There's no dings, no dents. It's, I mean, obviously there's some wear and tear there, but there's no real big dents or anything done to it. Um, it was a mowing tractor, and well, that's not what I use it. That's not what I use it for, but yeah, that's it. Three grand or best offer if anybody wants it. Located in Waynesburg, PA.